not much attention is paid to such ceremonies in most countries. In Pakistan, though, it is very different. The army has ruled directly for 33 years and wields considerable influence when not in power. Therefore, it was no surprise the change of command ceremony was shown live on TV across the country. General Asim Munir, a former spy master, has replaced General Bajwa, whose six-year extended term was marred by allegations of military interference in politics. Single most important challenge the new army chief faces is whether he can turn the tide of history, whether he can alter the institutional arrangement that governs Pakistan currently. And that arrangement is very simple. The military decides what is good for Pakistan and what is bad and then executes it. The army chief takes charge at a time when Pakistan is deeply divided politically. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has accused the former military chief of ousting him, is now hoping the new chief will push for early elections. But Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif, who handpicked General Asim, is hoping that the army under his command will no longer play a role in politics. We have heard good things about the new army chief. He has a good reputation. We understand that he will stay away from politics. The appointment of army chief is made on merit. This is fortunate that the prime minister has selected him based on the principle of seniority. One of the major challenges the new army chief has to deal with is the resurgence of rebel Malaysia. Just a day before General Asim took charge, the Pakistani Taliban ordered its fighters to resume attacks across the country. And then there are external challenges, including dealing with neighboring India. Expectations are high for any new Pakistani army chief. But will General Asim live up to them when most of his predecessors have not? Kamran Yusuf, TRT World, Islamabad.